Today we're going to be making better than sex cake. And here are the ingredients you're going to need. And I'm at the store getting them now. And as you can tell, it only came up to $10. Here's my official list that I've kept for years. So when making this better than sex cake, you normally would use a yellow clay cake. I chose to use lemon because that's more of a preference for me and you'll mix it as package direction or you can use a homemade cake and cook it standard like you would and then the rest to make this cake is will be coming after the While cake, the cake is, is in the oven cooking you want to take one can of crushed pineapple and add two cups of sugar and heat it together now I'm limiting my sugar because I don't do as much sugar anymore so I've only used a third of a cup this may or may not take away from the taste of the recipe. I'll let you know at the end. While the cake is cooking, you also want to go ahead and mix up your pudding using milk. Now, I did get the big box, so I'm only going to use half of the mix. I should have put the other half in the cake, and I did not remember to do this. And you add, a, so I'm going to do half of this, and then a half, one and one half cup of milk. And then I'm going to mix in all of this cream cheese. Okay, so you poke holes in the cake and then you pour the pineapple mixture over the top of the cake so it can seep down in the Here's your pudding mix. Now you're gonna take some cream cheese that's already room temperature and melt it in. Not melt it in, but stir it in. You might need a mixer for this. Just depends on how you can blend it. Okay, so here's what's next. You poke holes in the cake. Well, guess what? I don't have none to poke holes in. So I took this and I went, y'all, this is real life. We ain't, we ain't food network. I ain't getting paid to do this. And you're going to pour your pineapple mixture on top. And then you're going to spread it evenly. You want to take your um, vanilla pudding and mix it with your cream cheese. Now, you want to put it in the blender so it doesn't come out lumpy. So this is what it looks like if you don't put it in the blender. So make sure you blend it so it doesn't come out lumpy. And once you get it blended, then you want to take it and put it on top of the pineapple mixture and then start cutting up your bananas. I've added the whipped cream. And I'm actually still toasting the coconut which I suggest that you do on the stove if you can. Toast it. Coconut, and if you don't watch it, yeah, it's easy to get burnt. That's for sure. And then you wanna just put it on there. So I'm using the toasted coconut because I don't like regular coconut. And if you remember Chico sticks, we didn't know they were so co uh, coconut. They were toasted, so it tasted good. And as long as it has that little crisp to it, they're good. Doesn't taste like that plain fluffy, crappy crap. <laughs> and you can limit how much you put on there because I don't put a whole lot. This little bitty bag of peanuts because I don't need a whole lot. And then you want to just kind of put it on there. I'm not a crazy fan about peanuts, so I don't put a whole lot. But by leaving some left in the bag, if they want more, they can just add it. I think it's more for decoration when it's toasted. All right. Here you go. The better than sex cake. It's actually really, 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 really good. 